Fight Style. My name is Matt and I own a Spirit Blue Fiesta ST180 running uh, Revo Stage 2. Mine was last dynoed at 238 brake horsepower on the front flywheel. Uh, mods I've had done, obviously it's Stage 2 remap. I've got an AirTech Stage 2 cooler, the Revo induction kit, the Miltech Sports non-res with the Sports catback and I'm soon to get a torque mount and some other bits and pieces but at the, the moment that's about it. Why I went Revo is quite a funny reason is because I looked on the ST groups and there's always non-stop arguments between Revo and you know Peron all these other companies. I simply went Revo because uh, I could find a garage that could do it locally, I liked the performance it could do and I thought it makes it easier than traveling halfway across the country and I have been pleased with the performance. Stage one was good. I then went stage one plus like a week later by getting the uh, induction kit. It felt even better. And now stage two running at 238 brake horsepower feels really cool. <laughs> Hi, my name's Colby, I'm from North Wales, Chester area, but live in Liverpool and I currently have a CP2 tuned Fiesta ST180 in uh, frozen white. So I currently haven't had my car on the dyno yet, but it should be running quoted figures at around 2.30 brake. Um, the hardware that I do have is uh, the ITG induction kit, um, Collins Torque Mount, uh, three inch cat back mongoose oval tip system, which is combined with a three inch Cobra sports cat. Um, I've got R side, um, sorry, R sport hot side pipe. Um, I've got the Nexon N3 SU1 tires all round. Um, pretty brand new as well, they're pretty sticky, good tyres um, and I've got the MTC intercooler um, so it's running full stage 2 hardware um, and um, yeah it's running quite smooth, power is delivered quite well um, and obviously I've got a few external modifications um, and then planning a bigger turbo. Overall yeah really happy with Collins, really happy with my car and how it runs and the durability and uh, power delivery of the map.